those who may or may not know, I'm going to be starting my new job at Google, well, an apprenticeship, in about 11 days. It's going to be 50 months long, and this video is going to be all about my thoughts before starting Google, and what I'm feeling right now, or the anxiety, or the excitement. In 15 or 18 months, hopefully I'll be able to make a video, you know, going through all these questions and all these thoughts and feelings that I have now, prior to starting my apprenticeship. And it would be pretty cool to how I compare myself to now, to when I'm 15 months older. So without further ado, I'm just going to start with what I'm feeling right now and all the, th all the things that I'm thinking prior to starting. Uh, I've got my notes here and I've got a water bottle here, so it'll be all good and let's just go. So one of the things I'm thinking about, or at least is a, a minor worry, is that I know myself and one of the things I particularly know about myself is that I get bored quite easily, not quite easily, but I know when I start something, whether it be a job or something, a game or anything really, even sport, I love the initial excitement for maybe a few weeks, a few months, uh, a couple of months. I'm super excited and I just get stuck in and I put literally hours and hours into it. And I think the initial like hard work and all the motivation like wears off after a while, like the initial excitement goes away. And then that's where I kind of struggle. Not struggle, but that's where I need to improve on. Uh, so for me, I just worry or I just need to keep in mind that will I be able to self-motivate myself when it gets a bit boring or when I come to parts of my job where I may not find as exciting as other parts, will I be able to get that project or work done in time? And also, especially me knowing that it's only 15 months long, so it's not a long apprenticeship, I think that will actually push, make me push like through those obstacles and make me want to like give it my all because, you know, it'll be a great start to my career. So I think I'll be fine, but it's just one thing I want to keep in mind. So another thing is, I don't know if I'll be good enough to actually finish those projects. Obviously, they'll be given, they'll maybe, they'll maybe like start us off with some easy work and make us, you know, uh, get used to working on Google projects and you know, te technical stuff. And obviously, there'll be the white hat training, and I'll and I'm, I'll have a very good support system. You know, I'll have a manager, I'll have a mentor, I'll have a white hat, a white hat trainer to also ask questions, and I have all the other apprentices who will be in the same boat. So I think I'll be fine. But it's always that worry, not worry, but that little thing. Like, you know, it's going to be hard probably, and I need to give them my all. I need to learn. I need to you know make sure I'm on the ball. So I don't drop back and, you know, I, I won't be able to finish those projects. So making sure that I'll be good enough for that. When you start like an apprenticeship or an internship or you start a job which you know is temporary, you always think in the future. I think everyone does this. Everyone wants to know what they're going to be doing after uni, after school, whatever it is. And in this case, I, the big thing that I think a lot of apprentices and everyone who's in my position is thinking, what am I going to do after Google? Is it going to be a, a university degree? Is it going to be another apprenticeship? Maybe a degree apprenticeship? Is it going to be another... Will, is it going to be another job in a different industry, in the same industry, you know, a different company? Are you going to work at Google? Are you going to get hired? And there's obviously COVID as well. So the job market isn't the best. Obviously, the economy is not doing too well. Um, and I don't know how long it will stay in this situation. So I always have to have that in mind. Am I, you know... And then there's also side hustles. Am I going to start a business again? Am I going to partner with someone you know there's always these things that I'm going to think going to be thinking about and personally I don't want to go to university but if that is the one of the only chance you know one of the only options for me left I might have to take it and I need to be ready for that and just keep in mind that when I do see an opportunity whilst I'm working at Google if I do find a network connection that I come across through working at Google you know make sure I make the most of my opportunity in this apprenticeship and I think that is very important. And whilst I'm on the topic of networking and connections and opportunities, will I be able to network when I'm at home at Google? Uh, I feel like I'm just going on a rant, complaining about all the negatives, but I'm also very excited. Don't get me wrong, I'm super excited. And this is probably the best opportunity for me at this age, in this part of my career, to actually get an opportunity at Google. Obviously, I'm thinking about all the exciting stuff, you know, getting pay, obviously that's great. Getting the opportunity to actually work, get the experience. But there's also the negative things. So I want to get that out of the way and then I'll get on, you know, onto the more exciting stuff. So about networking, I'm going to be at home, working at home. And obviously I find, I find it a bit hard to find myself being productive. You know, motivation is, is a worry, but I have started to 
uh, get things going. You know, I'm trying to do morning and evening pages, getting my thoughts down, making sure what I want to be doing is I'm getting it done, <clears throat> and all my goals. But also, the main point I just talked about is networking. I want, I love networking and I love talking to people. I, I, I really need that human interaction, especially in a working environment. And because I w- I'm w- going to be working at home, it's going to be over Zoom call. I think a lot of people, especially students, um, you know, they're working on Zoom. I think it'll be Google Meets for us because we're working on Go- working with Google. It's going to be very interesting and very hard to network. However, I do need to make the most of it. And in about six, seven months, hopefully we'll, we will be able to go into offices in London and move there. So that'll be a great. Honestly, I think this wait, this six, seven mate, uh, months wait, will just make me even more excited and just make me even more motivated when I go to Google. So there, you, you always need to see the silver lining in things. And, you know, I'm just excited to actually work. So it's not the worst situation, but I, need, I just need to make sure if I do get an opportunity to network, I take it, you know, even, especially when I'm working at home, if like, just be, put myself out there, send emails and just make sure that I want to be networking and let people know in the organization that I'm there and I want to learn. The main few things that I talked about were the main big issues that I'm thinking and I'm feeling about, especially when I'm getting closer to my starting date. But these are the questions that I want to ask my future self. And hopefully, Rohit, if you're watching this in the future, hope you do remember this video, um, you'll be able to answer these and make a very good video on this. So I'm just going to go a few of these questions I'll put on my notes. And is the food good there? Hopefully by the time, you know, the apprenticeship has ended, you'll have a good few months of experience of having the free food at Google. I want to know, is it good? Do they have good Indian food? That's the most important question. Do they have good Indian food? How's the work-life balance? Obviously, I'm expecting myself to work a lot because I want to make the most out of this opportunity. But will I, are you feeling stressed? Did you feel stressed? Did I feel stressed? I don't know. I want you to answer that. How good is the apprenticeship? After, you know, doing an apprenticeship, is it valued? Is it, is it, is it valuable in the working uh, in the working world? You know, w- would a uni degree have been better if you went down that route? Are you going down that route? Let me know. Uh, will age let me down? Because I'm going to be 18, 19, 20 when I finish. Will I be overlooked because of my age and will my suggestions and my work be, you know, not noticed? Especially in a massive corporation, you know, how, how, how are you going to, how did you manage that? I want, I want to know. The people want to know. Uh, will I lose opportunities because of my age, you know, because, and my lack of experience, will I lose out on a few opportunities, especially because of COVID, maybe they want more experienced people, maybe they want young people to, um, to, to uh, train so they don't have to train university graduates. I don't know. I don't know. And I think that's the last question I'm going to ask. Did you enjoy working at Google? Was it fun? Did you have a great time? And is it as good as people say it was? Let me know. And that's the end of the video, guys. Hope you got a bit um, a bit of an idea of how I'm feeling before my Google apprenticeship. Hopefully that I didn't go for too long. And hopefully I came across a bit more lively. Because I know sometimes I feel I look a bit dead. Sometimes I'm a bit too over the top. But hopefully it's a good mix. And by the way, if you're still watching this, thank you so much for giving me all that watch time. I've actually uploaded another video on my second channel, my game channel. It's actually my first gaming video on that channel. So if you want to like check it out, give it a watch because it only has one view. And guess what? I'm the only one who watched it. So well, I don't watch it. I'll put it on my laptop and let it play through. So get, I got it a view. But that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed me talking and rambling on as always. Thank you for watching and I shall see you in another video hopefully soon. Bye.